uh, I really like this episode. It has elements. It has uh, when you have, whenever you can uh, have an episode that has a white buffalo and a spaceship in it. It's got to be wonderful, uh, uh, and and this one works in uh, strange ways. The white buffalo that appears at the uh, beginning of the episode was uh, something I had read about. Uh, an actual white buffalo calf had been born, and the Indians. Uh, the Native Americans felt that, that was an omen uh, of something uh, about to happen, an omen of uh, portent of change. Uh, I used that um, uh, Native American um, bit of uh, lore and belief uh, in the episode, even though it wasn't Navajo, and the, mostly the, uh, the episode uh, reflected Navajo mythology. But I used it because I thought it was so powerful that all Native Americans might believe in it. And it ended up infusing the, uh, the episode with, a, with portent, with uh, potential. When I told the crew that what I wanted to do was to actually float a spaceship uh, from the ground up those many stories with Mulder watching out those windows, uh, they, they looked at me like I was out of my mind. Uh, we would have to build a truss with uh, a, a whole lighting rig, and put it on a big crane, and lift it up uh, outside those windows, uh, projecting the light into Mulder and toward camera. It was a big, big deal, and uh, it looked nothing like a spaceship. The idea is that you would play the light uh, um, projected from this truss, from this contraption that we built through the windows, and marry it to a computer-generated effect when Mulder actually got outside the building. Uh, it worked perfectly, and I still think for the time and effort and money, it was really one of the most simple yet spectacular effects we've ever done.